Hey guys, it's Jeff, and after several attempts of getting this iPhone here to receive the over-the-air update, we finally got it. iOS 12.1 Beta 5. Now, the build number here does indicate, since it has a letter at the end, that this is not the GM version, so for any of you wondering, this is not the GM version. So, Beta 5 here came in at only 245 megabytes for my iPhone XS Max, and for any of the other devices here, it came in even smaller. So, not really expecting much past the bug fixes and performance improvements that they are saying on the release notes here, but let's check this version out, Beta 5 of iOS 12.1. This video was sponsored by our friends at MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac X. This program will clean up, protect, and speed up your Mac without any hassle whatsoever. If you want a free download of this program on us, click the link down below. Okay, so past betas have had some performance issues and those were really just instability. And then there were also a lot of bugs causing apps to hang and system processes to lag. But in beta 4 that really turned around and that UI experience was really good. And so far in beta 5, that experience seems to be the same. Beta 5 feels really smooth, yet maintains that speed that we know and love with iOS. And also, I'm not seeing any noticeable bugs right now, so that is really cool as well. As far as the LTE, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi bugs go, basically all of the connectivity types, I haven't experienced those since beta 2, and I'm not right now in this beta version either. So if you still have those issues, I'd still recommend a clean install on your device. So moving on, and I always like to do a benchmarking test just to see where we are at. And after running a Geekbench test here, we got a pretty decent CPU score, which was honestly still within the margin of error. CPU isn't really what we are focused on right now though, as the compute score typically determines how UI performance will be. So on that test, we did see an increase of over 300 points, so that was really nice to see, and with that, performance or stability hasn't been affected. Now, I did go and look for any possible new features, and unfortunately, nothing. We are still not seeing any more eSIM functionality. The ECG feature is not present within iOS 12.1 or watchOS 5.1 yet, and there are unfortunately still no new wallpapers. So that's super disappointing here, but given we are still stable on this version and performance is good, I really can't complain as that was a huge issue not too long ago in the beta process. So guys, that is iOS 12.1 beta 5. Basically the performance and battery life continues to get better as the betas go on. And hopefully we'll be seeing the official version next week along with some new products from Apple. Until then, make sure to get subscribed and also check out some of our other content as well. We thank you all for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.